Hey YouTube, my name is G and I'm going to show you how to make this full face mask, a CPAP mask, a coronavirus respirator. So let me give you a little bit of history. Even about a month ago, you'd find it hard to find a paper mask, N95 mask, any kind of personal protective equipment. And now it's affecting the hospitals. They're finding it hard to find masks and equipment to help everybody. So last week, April Fool's Day, doctor comes in, he's scrambling looking for equipment. He's got an idea. He's going to take a regular full face mask and convert it into something that they could use at the hospitals the RTs, the nurses, because they're short on masks. So Wednesday, the doctor comes in and thinks of this idea. By Friday, all the full face masks were gone. I'm talking about 50 of them gone because they're going into production. They're making these masks. And by Monday, the techs, the RTs in the hospital, they're using this mask to protect themselves against all the patients that are coming in with symptoms. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to put this together really easy. And thanks again for watching the Sleep Critic channel. Make sure to subscribe, like, and make sure to leave a comment too, and I'll get back to you. Well, let's get right into it. Let's look at this elbow. Those are diffused ventilation holes. That allows you to breathe out CO2 so you don't get sick. What we're going to do is we're going to take some hot glue and Put it along those little holes, seal it up nice and tight like that picture shows right there. Ventilation ports, those are the bigger holes connected to those silicone flaps at the bottom. Is take some hot glue and glue up those holes. Make sure that there's no air getting in and out of that area. First side of the elbow, uh, there's a lip that goes around the outside. I go ahead and take some hot glue and uh, put a little bit around that lip so it makes a good seal with the mask. At the very bottom of the elbow is where the viral filter attaches to uh, the mask there, so it's cleaning out that air that you're breathing in and out. All right little bit of uh, review you got your diffuse ventilation holes you have your one-way exhalation ports all hot glued uh, and same thing with a little bit of hot glue on the back of the elbow seal um, you want to make sure everything's sealed up no air to enter in or out of those holes that we glued up and then at the end you're going to attach that viral filter at the bottom and that's what it looks like once you attach it so this is the f20 in the flesh um, if you can see, notice that it's a nice solid mask. There's no exhalation ports on the mask itself. Um, you have a nice uh, silicone type seal. Um, but all the magic happens right here. Right here at this elbow. This is where all the magic happens. You see these? The two little silicone flaps. Um, and for CPAP use, its uh, purpose is to breathe out your CO2. Those flaps close the uh, air intake holes, let you breathe out your CO2, and then when you breathe in, um, those flaps open up to kind of push in the fresh air. Um, but for our purposes, it might be a little bit of an obstruction, um, only because when we exhale, we want to exhale through the viral filter that we're going to connect to this. And if those flaps are there, it won't let you breathe out as easily. Um, so it's probably a good idea to remove those. Here's a really good shot of the exhalation ports uh, so that you can breathe out the CO2. Notice that they have this little kind of window pane pattern. Um, that will hot glue gun a lot easier with those there. Um, but we want to kind of seal those ports up. And also, when you take off the flaps, you're going to get a new little uh, hole that's created there uh, where the flaps kind of connect into the mask. And we want to seal those up with hot glue. These are the diffused exhalation ports so that you could breathe out your CO2, but it's more of a whisper, so you don't hear it. But 
That's for CPAP. For our purposes, we want to hot glue these little holes so that no air could come in and infect you. If you look inside the elbow, you'll see that I got rid of those silicone flaps. And there they are right there. So they're not going to be blocking the way. And what I did is I just kind of reached in with these forceps right there in both ends and kind of just reached in and pulled them out. Easy peasy. This part is the bacterial viral filter that we're going to attach to the end of the mask. If you notice what we did right here, we went ahead and hot glued the exhalation ports right here in the top. See, so no more little holes. Also, if you look in the side, we hot glued that. So no air is coming in and out of those areas. And again, we pointed out that uh, we removed the silicone flaps. Finally, the unsung hero of this mask is, of course, the silicone seal. Um, without pre positive pressure, it still manages to keep a good seal, preventing germs from going into the nose and mouth. Like I was explaining earlier, we went ahead and attached the viral filter to the end of the mask, nice and tight. So the only air that's coming in is coming in through the bottom of the viral filter, through the filter, up into the mask. And when you breathe out, that same air comes out of the mask, down into the viral filter, and out the bottom. Finally, we're there. We just finished hot gluing all our ventilation holes, and we attached our viral bacterial filter to the end there, and we're ready to use it. We're ready to be safe out there in the hospital. Remember, this is just another way of staying healthy out there. I showed you the do-it-yourself PAPR ventilator, and this is just a lot easier version. It's not so involved. Um, of course, it doesn't have the degree of safety, but it should take care of the job for you. Thanks again for watching this video on the Sleep Critic channel, and make sure to subscribe and like it if you like it, and make sure you leave comments, and um, I'll be sure to reply as fast as possible.